Welcome to the House of Kittens, Arwen. This is Fukat, and today we are playing Into the Gloom. Thank you, Deviator, for sending this game to me as a GIF on Steam. This is a pixelated horror game, as you guys could tell. And they seem to have a bunch of dark, dusty ghosts. Well, go ahead and play it, because I heard this game is actually really scary, though. I'm excited. Alright. Where am I? I have not seen anyone for a while. It won't open. It will not open. The door is broken with the S capitalized, I think. Everyone will pay. He was a murderer. Okay. We're off to a great start. There's already some tragic shit going on. All right, red skies. That actually fits well with the little blue theme. Not blue, white color theme that they have going on here. All right. All oh, these are stuck so far. Oh, what about this? Oh, of course. All right. What about outside? Yeah, we can go outside here. There's a key. My arms can't get through the gate. I need something to reach that key. Alrighty. Is that a... <laughs> Got some artwork right here. <laughs> it looks like some girl that's just doing this. <laughs> okay, so... Can't open that. Can't open this. It won't open. There are a lot of doors that can't open. He is watching. Okay. He's watching me take a piss. Or take a dump. Alright, so I'm guessing this pipe is to grab that thing, the key. Barnes can't reach through it. Yes, I got it. Okay, so right click is to interact. Alright, so where does this key go to? Oh, do I have to have it interacted? Uh, right click. Uh, I guess this. How fortunate. It's taken revenge. Alright. We got a puzzle here. Um. Okay, I'm guessing this is... Okay, the gray part is where I'm at. And I had to find my way to go down this over here. Alright, so... Like that. Hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, that was easy. I like how I'm getting through this like real quickly so far. That's a big surprise. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, so how far am I into the game? I'm three minutes into the game and I've gotten as far as this right now. Help, or kelp. Looks like kelp. Uh, kelp cereal. What? What happened? Did I miss something in here? I missed the jump scare. He is watching, he is lurking, he is hunting. Run. Kill you. Okay. Alright, what else? Maybe down here. Ah, oh, these cheap jump scares. Alright, what's in here that I need to grab? A couch. It is some kind of polisher. Alright. What is this polisher? Metal polisher. What am I gonna need that for? I can use metal polisher on metal polisher. <laughs> what? Okay, so, can we just let that go now? Alright, what is this? Candles? 
There's a hole in this pipe. It's like it's missing a piece. That doesn't need to be polished, of course. Alright. What do I need to do then? This door needs an access card. Alright. What about... Is there something on the other side? Yeah. It's jammed, of course. It's gonna ask for an access card, and then when you go to the other side, thinking that the door is gonna be open, it's not gonna be open. It's gonna tell you it's jammed or stuck, or you need a key to open it or some dumb shit. Like that. <laughs> we got some tic tac toes. This might actually be to the map, actually. Wait, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's definitely counting down then. Or is it pointing down then? I see a dot. It's on the last row on the third line. So we have to find a way to get there. Found it! <laughs> that was easy. That didn't take too long at all. Okay. Wow, I really suck at puzzles and I'm somehow just figuring all this out in seven fucking minutes. Holy shit. Like, this is a big puzzle game. And for me to figure it out this quickly is extremely, like, I'm just dumbfounded about this right now. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm a sucker when it comes to these games. All right, so now we have to go back. I actually vowed to, uh, it's rusty, so clearly it's gonna go to, how do I, there we go. Oh wait, push it to that. There we go. Now we have to head back somehow. We're back. <laughs> I feel like a genius right now. Like seriously, I really suck at puzzle games. If you guys seen all my Let's Plays, I've always had a hard time trying to figure out shit. Okay, so I'm guessing this valve goes to that missing piece. All right, which I already have the valve on me, so all I have to do is walk over there and interact with it. Alright, I need to select an item first. The water is flowing. Ah, okay. So it flew... So it was floating up the crates then. Which I'm not too sure why it flew up like this. Like, I must be like a really lightweight character. Because those crates, like, unless they're heavy or something, like, they should be... They have to be empty then. Like, they can't just, like, float me back up, though. Like, I should just, like, drop down sometime. I don't know if you guys are kidding me. <laughs> I'm not talking proper English right now. Okay, nothing in these lockers. A dead body. With what looks to be a stick put right through him. I found an access card. Cool, 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 cool. Pretty terrified right now. That fucking. Alright. <laughs> Let's go through. A red flagged key. For what? Oh, oh, I know, I know. It's that one place that said I needed a key. Alright. Go ahead and get it. There we go. Oh. They're playing some smooth soundtrack right now.
All right. She hung herself because she couldn't take the number two or the number four. Yeah, give me that number four with large fries. It's jammed, of course. All these are gonna be locked. Why am I even bothered? Oh, this isn't. Another dead body. I need a screwdriver? Yeah, I probably need a screwdriver. Do I have one? Okay, I can't check my inventory right now. The soundtrack is really, really beautiful. Holy shit. I might actually start using this now instead of the Goosebumps song. It's so calming. For a game like this, it's so calming. Like, <laughs> it's kind of weird to have this type of song in this type of game. But it's so goddamn beautiful. Doom, da, na, na. Almost similar to the Goosebumps thing that I used though, actually. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I finally have no idea what to do for this puzzle. What? Oh, I go upstairs. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's watching. Ah! I found a screwdriver. Okay. So far, jump scares haven't really got me. But it's still an interesting game, though. It's just jump scares aren't really too needy right now. It's just, that was just completely pointless. It just put like a guy with a noose in front of my face. Okay. Yep. Looks like the power is back. That's cool. Alright, what do I do now? go to any of these doors. Can't go through this, of course. I can go through the elevator. Alright. Now we're in the garage side of the apartment. The music got all creepy again. Alright. This is some old looking cars. And they're all the same model. Alright, nothing here. More same model cars. Hey! All the other Let's Players that got caught. <laughs> Okay. The tick-tock of the clock continued its march without stop. At a relentless pace that showed the inexorable power of time on the face of the people, many events happened and Ethan's family savings decreased paying the expensive hospital fees until it became unenable. Untenable. I'm guessing I am Ethan? As I just died, Ethan continued stuck in the world of darkness, suffering the torment of the parallel life he had. While in our present, his body lay inert to the simuli that continuously tried to reanimate him, keeping him alive to making him up. Only the medical equipment kept him tied to life, however, when his brain stopped showing activity, and with all family savings depleted, the doctors recommended disconnecting him, ending his suffering. Well, that's gotten depressing. The results were as expected. Ethan's vital function seeds, shattering all hope and ending his mother's agony. On the other hand, his friends eventually forgot him, and he never was heard from ever again. His funeral was lonely as only his mother and some relatives attended believing his soul was finally free on this world. The world we can see, the physical world we all know about. But what happened on Ethan's gloomy world? 
Has it really ended or he's still suffering there? We will never know until it's our turn to go there. What? Bad ending. Bad ending. Alright. So, I guess I'll go ahead and try to get the good ending then. In part two, though. I think I played enough right now, and I think my camera's about to die anyway. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Into the Gloom. Stay tuned for part two. Um, game's not really scary so far, but it did have an interesting story to it. Um, not sure why all these people are dead. Why are there so many dead bodies? And I think those ghosts, those, yeah, the ghosts you can see in the main menu, I think those represent the dead bodies, now that I'm thinking about it. Alright. We'll see how the good ending goes. Hopefully I don't die like I just did earlier. Uh, I guess that's the main monster then. Yeah, I've seen it from the cover. I should know that's the main monster. And subscribe to the outro if you have not. Share this to your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Like and comment on this video. And I'll see you guys in part two of Into the Gloom. Stay awesome, kitty sabers. Welcome to the House of Kittens, everyone. This is Fukat. So today, we're about to reach 4,800 subscribers. So, our sub growth has been going back and forth. We've been decreasing, we've been increasing every couple of hours. So, I just decided I'm going to make this milestone.